Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Hope you are enjoying your Sunday. And if you didn't get a chance to check out my last video in regards to what the Chinese rover captured on our moon, be sure to head over and check that out. But today I have a video chock full of amazing, otherworldly, full strangeness, UFO footage and information for you guys to check out. So why don't we just get started? So there's been a lot of big news this week, a lot of big breaking UFOs. UFO news stories, but I want to start out with one that you may have not seen as much as the other, and the first comes out of Korea, where we have an airport in South Korea, UFO spotted near airport, so let's go ahead and watch the video. Okay, so if you didn't see it, let's slow this down a bit more and zoom in a bit more. There is definitely something strange happening here. We have an airliner that looks to be coming in for landing when all of a sudden, from the right side of the screen, a dark object appears, moving at an extremely high rate of speed. And as you can see, the news outlet already slowed this down for us, but I slowed it down even further just to give you guys an idea where at times it almost looks like a, a tic-tac or cigar shaped UFO, but other times looks like a more bulky saucer or top hat shaped UFO, which can be seen in this last image where they put the red circle around it and zoom in. And I'll uh, go ahead and show you guys some still images here, just kind of showing the, the many different shapes of this object. I don't know if it's changing or morphing its shape as it flies or it's just a camera trick because the thing is moving so fast, but it almost looks like the object, whatever it is, it takes on a different shape in each different frame that we see it in. So let's start from right to left where the mystery UFO enters the frame above this airport. And as you can see here, and this is the best resolution I have, it almost looks like a a saucer slash triangular craft flat on the bottom pointed top uh, like a hat shadow on the bottom uh, but as the object progresses over top and across the airport to the left it begins to lose this sort of you know triangular hat saucer shape and then looks to turn into more like a, a cylinder or the infamous tic tac or cigar whatever you want to call it and here is probably the most intriguing image because it shows this dark object. This time it almost looks like a blimp. And there's even, if you look closely, there's something hanging from it is what it appears to look like. And I'm doing the best I can with analysis here, trying to bring out the colors and the shape, but very, very strange. Let me know what you guys think. And so let's move on to the next and probably the most popular story that you may have seen as of late in the last couple of days. And that is a string of lights that were captured on video from an airline pilot of what can only be described as strange rows of lights. We're talking almost 40,000 feet. Uh, multiple news stories about this here from the independent pilot records baffling ufo fleet over pacific the sun titled mysterious skies incredible video shows 12 ufos flying in formation as pilot exclaims that is some weird ish and well here is the video around 30,000 feet above the pacific ocean That is some weird shit. Gone. 
Okay, so pretty interesting, right? Now, I analyzed this further, and I realized that although it looks like the lights seem to be moving in perfect synchronization as if these were reflections, they're not. You will have one light on one end disappear while another is appearing on another formation. They are definitely not in sync. It just looks like that way. They're very closely in sync. Now, the pilot, as you heard, was totally baffled. And I honestly don't know what this could be. You're 39,000 feet above the Pacific Ocean. Someone said, oh, well, it's just military flares being dropped, which could make sense. You know, it kind of does look like a few jets are flying along dropping flares one after another but then again people also rushed in quickly to say hey this is almost 40,000 feet up in the air what would be the point of a couple of jets dropping some flares above the clouds at this high an altitude and this close to an airliner without even letting the airliner know whatsoever so that if the pilot did encounter or see the lights which obviously he he did he, he wouldn't be afraid or put the passengers in danger so i've seen no reports from any military bases saying that these were flares as of right now these are a formation of around 12 lights that then vanished into the clouds as the video comes to an end. At first, nine lights are visible, which then becomes 12, all moving in formation. The closest UFO disappears before three more objects reappear outside of the group. The pilot can be heard saying, I don't know what that is. That is some weird-ish. That is something flying. He then simply says, gone as they vanish from view. The video, filmed at 39,000 feet above sea level, was shared on social media. Many praised it as amazing and the best UFO footage they've seen in a long time. So, you guys, tell me what you think. You can easily search this news story. Just simply put UFOs flying over Pacific and you'll get a number of news stories reporting on it. But as of right now, we have 12 UFOs here flying in formation at extreme altitudes near a commercial airliner and uh it's definitely some very intriguing footage so tell me what you think down below now next before we get into some more juicy ufo footage and information if you guys remember a couple of videos back I showed you a little teaser of the poster of the film that's coming out called Secret Space UFOs Rise of the TR-3B. Now this is a documentary that is going to be coming out on December 16th. However, I'll put a link down below at the top of the video description that you can click on and pre-order it. You can rent or buy it. So I suggest you do that. I was actually a part of the film, as you can see, my name is right there next to the producer and director and creator of the film, Darcy Weir. Darcy approached me, you know, and said he was making this documentary about the well-known, well-documented, and much-discussed secret triangular craft known as the TR-3B. The legendary TR-3B is said to be the very first alien reproduction vehicle that the military, the US military, built secretly for space travel. And so in this documentary, Darcy, the director, he hooked up with the best of the best or the who's who's of those that could possibly shed some light on what these mysterious black triangles are seen hovering in our skies. I was lucky to be one of those included in the film along with other prominent researchers in UFOs and avionics, but the time for teasing is over, and right now you are about to see the trailer for the new film Secret Space UFOs Rise of the TR-3B exclusively for the first time here on the channel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and play this trailer. While it's been widely discussed that UFOs are of an alien nature, uh, we are starting to realize that many of these may also be man-made. The stuff I was working on wasn't classified. The programs that we're monitoring were. Unconventional and unacknowledged activities and science that are not supposed to exist. It accelerated at about a 30 degree angle of attack and left him in the dust. I mean, boom, eight to 10,000 miles an hour. They looked like butterflies that were on fire. Well, when I played the footage back, there was a TR-3B 
sitting there cloaked above that ship the entire time. Why is it that if these are solid triangular craft, are we able to sometimes see stars through them? You're going to have a militarization of space, like an arms race in space, and that's going to require a significant classified component. That is a secret space program. We're dealing with something very close to alien technology, engineered down to the atomic level. Something really odd is going on out there. All right, so how'd my hair look? <laughs> I swear, you know, I really had a fun time working on this film. Uh, I have to give credit to Darcy because he'd been working on this for two years, flying around, interviewing people, getting footage, and unlike other big UFO documentaries lately, it doesn't just feature the director and his face in the movie the entire time, but it actually goes into the history and the myth of the making of this highly secretive triangular craft that is said to contain alien anti-gravity propulsion, and from the history it then goes on to what the experts think from avionics to the UFO field. It includes some amazing never-before-seen UFO footage of these things and unlike your typical 15 minute ufo clip this is a documentary that will give you the history the middle and the end of where we stand at this very moment on what the mysterious tr3b could be is it man-made is it alien or is it both well you'll have to check out the film to find out and uh darcy and and all of us did our best to kind of analyze the history and the myth of the infamous tr3b so as i said guys the film comes out on december 16th however if you click the single link it's just one link at the very top uh, of the video description below it will take you to a special page for the film and it will give you three different streaming options where you can pre-order the film where in which on the 16th you will be able to watch it the film is also going to be released on amazon for rent and purchase as well however that will be a separate link that i will post for you guys on the 16th when the film actually comes out that's just the way amazon works so if you choose to pre-order or pre-rent this film today and only until the 16th, we have created and added to the Secure Team Tees merch shop some very special poster items from the film, from sweatshirts to t-shirts to posters and even canvas prints. If you pre-order using the promo code down below in the video description from now until the 16th when the film comes out, you can use this promo code below to get 10% off of one of these limited time, limited edition, and they're already selling out before I've even posted this video, but they're called the TR3B Rising Film Edition. We have, as I said, a sweater, a woman's shirt, a men's premium shirt. These are all premium, 100% cotton. We have an 18 by 24 inch poster, as well as a 24 by 36 inch poster, and a canvas print of two different sizes and these items once they're gone they're gone this is just a limited time merch drop for the film so if you'd like to own a piece of documentary history and support the cause and support directors like darcy for trying to get to the bottom of the truth out there and who it was a pleasure to work with you know your support would mean the world so if you want to pick up a poster or a shirt and only until the 16th when the film actually goes public then head over to secureteamtees.com and use the promo code which is tr3b poster where you will get 10 percent off of this awesome limited edition gear so really really slick poster i was so excited when i saw it i was excited to see myself in it i'm excited for the film to come out i hope you guys are excited it actually sticks to the subject and it takes us on a ride as we continue to try to figure out what these mysterious flying triangles and lights are so let's make this film a hit click that link down below pre-order it or just wait until the 16th where you can rent or buy it on all major streaming platforms so with that guys perfect segue here to follow up this trailer here we have a new clip posted to reddit on r slash ufo believers called triangle craft over williamsburg brooklyn recorded earlier this year so let's zoom in here and check it out.
Okay, so pretty amazing. Uh, and this footage just came to me as I was editing this and about to be done with it. And I was like, wow, this is perfect to add after featuring the trailer because it's just yet another never before seen brand new TR-3B or triangular light sighting. Um, the TR-3B is a craft that is known to have lights on each of its corners. And so in many of these nighttime videos, that's all you'll see because these things are black. And not only that, it's also been said and somewhat proven through evidence and analysis that these triangular anti-gravity craft actually use a sort of force field that surrounds the craft actually mirroring the sky behind it and around it almost as if you're looking through it. So to you on the ground, it just appears to be three lights when there's actually a solid craft there. And there's two videos and it looks like this thing was also seen over the Bronx here. And yep, it sure looks like the same uh, three lights to me moving in a steady slow motion in perfect formation. Not once do these lights drift off from one another or leave this locked in triangular position. So kudos to UFO Reddit, to Anonymous Shadow, to UFOs Facts for posting this video. Anybody above Brooklyn or the Bronx see this formation of triangular lights, let me know. We're seeing them in the skies, we're seeing them from planes, we're seeing them over airports. And uh, these are just really exciting times. So with that guys, I'm gonna jump off here, but not before showing you tin foil hat baby. <laughs> <laughs> now, this was a photo sent in by a viewer of the channel of their adorable little one sporting a secure team onesie, which you can get on one of the shops, and a beautifully made tinfoil hat. So, he's rocking the secure team TR3B edition shirt, as well as the tinfoil hat. This tinfoil baby is a straight up OG gangster. I keep telling people, I got insomnia army soldiers out there that don't even know it yet. They've just been born. But I want to thank the viewers for sending in this adorable photo. Tinfoil hat baby, you are a legend. So with that guys, stay tuned, stay safe. If you want to pre-order or pre-rent the film, click the single link down below. Use that promo code at secureteamtees.com. And on the 16th, the film is out for for rent on all major streaming platforms. So exciting times. Tell me what you thought about the strange UFOs over Korea above the Pacific Ocean, about this film trailer, and about what happened over Brooklyn. And as always, hit that subscribe button, like, leave a comment, make the algorithm happy, and I will see you all back in just a bit. Stay safe, guys. Peace.